We now want to look at circuit topology definitions. These will be helpful when we uh, formalize our circuit analysis and give us some terminology to use to describe our circuits. So first we have nodes. A node is a connection point that is common to two or more elements. So right here C, what's labeled as C, is a node and it joins this voltage source, this resistor, and this resistor. And the uh, outlined, this outline here shows uh, a single node. So it could be stretched out throughout a schematic, right? Remember that connecting wires are like shorts, they're like zero ohms. So everything that's on the same wire, I could have something that goes way over here and comes back. All of this out to here is part of the same node. We have branches. A single element and the node at each end comprises a branch. A path is a collection of connected branches where no node is encountered more than once. So we could go through this element here and through this element. That's a path. Okay, or this element, that element, and that element. Those are all paths. A loop, then, is a path where the last node is the same as the first node. So in other words, we've closed, we have a closed path. And a mesh is a loop that contains no inner loops. So let's look at uh, some examples here. Here is our circuit uh, right here, kind of redrawn um, more um, skeletally. And we see that what I've drawn are some, um, some, I'm trying to draw loops, okay, but it's hard to draw it all in one the same circuit because it gets cluttered. So what most obvious are these are loops, right? Remember a loop is a path that closes on itself, the last node being the first one. We could also have a loop that goes around the entire circuit. We could have a loop that spans two loops, like these two, right? We can have loops that span those three, and you can see that even for a little circuit like this, there are quite a few loops. Okay. Fortunately, we don't have to keep track of all of those when we are trying to analyze a circuit. Uh, within the full set of loops, there are some loops that are considered called uh, meshes. And a mesh is a loop where there are no loops inside it. So these three or these four loops here are meshes because there's no loop inside any of them. Okay, lastly, we want to describe what is called a planar circuit. This will be useful when we look at what's called mesh analysis. Planar circuits are those that can be drawn on a plane surface, in other words, a piece of paper with no wires crossing each other. And I have an example down here. So this is a planar circuit. This one is not a planar circuit because you see that there is a crossing of the wires there. There's no way you can redraw that circuit on a flat surface without those wires crossing each other. It doesn't mean it's a bad circuit, it just means it's a non-planar circuit and we'll see later it turns out that we cannot use uh, a mesh analysis technique to solve that, but we can use uh, what's known as a node analysis technique to solve that circuit. You want to watch out because sometimes uh, circuits are drawn in a way that they look like they're non-planar, but they actually are. So take a look at this last one and see if you can figure out how in fact it is a planar circuit, though it is not drawn as a planar circuit.